All right, what's up, Yens guys? Time for another video. Uh, talk about another thing I saw on the TV news. Uh, more weird, crazy news going on. Uh, anyway, I brought up another article once again to show you what I'm talking about. But okay, uh, a Pitt University a student, an athlete, uh, beats up his girlfriend over getting a cell phone wet. Yeah. He beat the living shit out of her. He was really whooping up on her. And then when he th threw her down on a bed or a piece of furniture, he was waving up, waving, up, okay, waving around a pair of scissors, okay, and chasing her with a pair of scissors, and I guess he threw her down. Cut himself with the scissors, uh, allegedly, and said, uh, quote, uh, I will uh, make the... Uh, Authorities think that you did this to me. So I guess it was kind of a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, ultimatum. A retro, it was, in his eyes, it was a retroactive ultimatum if he were, if, uh, if he were to get the cops called on him. Try to make her scared that if he calls the cops on her, he'll make it look like an assault on him. And he was, which... Which it wouldn't have worked anyway, because I imagine the police would have probably uh, get the fingerprints on the scissors and see that the fingerprints weren't hers. But um, if I uh, always, like say when they arrest you, they fingerprint you. And well, geez, they could uh, check the scissors for fingerprints. But anyway, when you do shit like this, you really need help. I mean, uh, if you're... To avoid ruining your life, uh, what you can do is say, I'll acknowledge and say that you need help. Or, um, I don't want to want to make any assumptions that I don't know for sure, but whatever uh, kind of drugs he was on or whatever, maybe stop doing it or whatever. Uh, if he does any kind of getting high on the side or whatever, or drinks too much. Or... Um, Whatever the hell the case may be, seek help. I mean, definitely needs to see, the guy definitely needs to seek help. If you're going to get pissed off about something like that, uh, imagine what this guy does to his girlfriend, right? I mean, that crazy over a cell phone. He might be a guy you're standing in line in a, a store or something and gets mad at you for something stupid. And if you even cordially say something back to him, he might pull something out of his pocket and try to ice pick you. That's the character of a person like Adam. The ones that usually uh, beat up their girlfriends or wives over shit like that, uh, they're usually fairly careful of any other guys that uh, they would uh, spaz out on or uh, go off on. They're not going to go off with some other dude. A lot of them, they're cowardly. They'll go after a dude that's maybe their same size that they think they can physically take them. But if it's somebody that maybe they can't beat up and they go off on you, for example, this a guy like this, um, he can't take another dude. His equals his strength or whatever. He'll go after a soft target that appears to him as weaker than them if it's another dude. Or if it's somebody that maybe he might lose the fight when he goes off on him. Strikes me as somebody will take something out of his pocket and try to ice pick you over something stupid. Just, you know, stab and ice pick you, which in that case, you know, uh, things could turn out really bad for him. You know what I mean, too. But anybody like this, if they, unless they acknowledge that they seek help, uh, they're going to wind up on some kind of a list. And you know that they're going to be, uh, I pity the uh, girlfriend that... Uh, he meets in the future, or future wife that he meets in the future that maybe don't watch the news and maybe it gets forgotten that uh, somebody like us can wind up murdering his wife. Say down the line, 10, 20 years down the line or whatever, uh, you know, women don't watch the news or whatever the hell uh, and get involved with a guy like this. And... Uh, not saying anything because of anybody's color or singling anybody out, too, because we all know it made the news. There were so many people, uh, white people and black, uh, 
made the TV news. Their wives disappeared. They find the bodies and they murdered them. And if you got this far in this video, too, before anybody thinks about saying anything, too. Unlike what the far left says, and I'm not into the far right either. They're very condescending, if it's any consolation. My rule here, if you're paying attention here, that's an undisputed fact that uh, both white and black people, of people of different financial walks of life and uh, have these problems and I have this rule right away that, uh, that I say right away when you watch about stuff like this. Okay, yeah, white people have Ted Bundy hanging over their heads. Black people have Edward Surratt hanging over their heads, and uh, gay people have Jeffrey Dahmer hanging over their heads. But does it mean white people, black people, or uh, gay people, or serial killers, or have bad tempers and go after their partners with scissors or knives? Does it mean uh, they're all like that? No. But anyway, uh, anybody who does that, no matter who you are, uh, athlete, both black, white, or whatever, You've got a temper like that or whatever. Um, they they either like I said they either get need to get off the drugs that they're uh, doing that nobody knows they're doing, uh, or if they're not on any any drugs. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm not into anybody taking meds for every little thing. But if you can't stop doing things like that, then maybe people like that need to be medicated if they think. They may need to seek help, and they're going to do something like that. I don't even like uh, uh, people on YouTube or any kind of thing making comments where just because you have an opinion about something, uh, tell you take your meds because you have an opinion. People out there in the world, but yes, I I don't give a shit about meds, okay? But there is a time when if somebody does need meds. Uh, if they do shit like that and they cannot stop doing shit like that but there's a lot of people they know damn well what they're doing is wrong and very cowardly and they like to go after soft targets and they won't say somebody that a dude was equal in strength or something you know uh, one of his friends you know uh, got his cell phone wet he'd probably either laugh it off or he'll say something under his breath, but he won't attack them like that. Garen, I guarantee fucking tell you, they don't do shit like that. If it was a dude equal in strength that did that by accident to the cell phone. Or say some dude that kind of can kick his butt, right? Maybe took a cell phone and did it on purpose. Not He wasn't going to do a fucking thing. People of this character, that if a dude that's a little bit more built can kick his ass, Say grabs a cell phone and throws it in water, for example. I guarantee a dude like this, if they did that, they won't do a goddamn thing. They they either look for soft targets, their girlfriends, or a dude that they can beat up, and they'll go off. They'll go on. They'll go off. I don't mean to accidentally start laughing here. This is not a laughing matter, but it's funny how these people think they're so badass, beating on their girlfriends, and. With a character like that, like I said repeatedly already, and yeah, getting a little repetitive here. They'll beat up on their girlfriends, and they'll beat up on dudes that they can actually kick their butt. But if it's somebody that can kick their butt, they'll throw a cell phone on purpose, you know what I'm saying? They'll sit there and not do a damn thing. But maybe, just maybe, uh, like I said... They need an item to pick up and try to ice pick them, or maybe they'll slash themselves if a dude did, can take them. Yeah, maybe a dude did this to his uh, girlfriend. Maybe a dude did he can't kick their butt or whatever. He'll probably either try to ice pick him, you know, with a pair of scissors or something. Or he'll probably, uh, when he don't think he can even take him on, you know, with a weapon, so to speak, you know, and uh, he ain't sure about himself there. He might just take the weapon and slash himself. And, oh, you did this to... Yeah, I thought that's the kind of people that are like that. Those kind of people, mentally, very mentally unstable, 
you don't want to meet up with them in a uh, a line of a store or something, get mad at you, you just cordially tell them off and they get mad. People be pulling weapons like this. And a lot of them, uh, they go and pull a weapon on the wrong person like that and uh, they really get their ass handed to them. And there's people like this, like I preached about, uh, the white guy too, uh, Kevin McSwiggan did, um, was a lifeguard and he actually sexually assaulted women and threatened them. That if you tell I'm going to do this and that, throw you in a gallon drum. And a character of that guy I made a video about, like I said too, I made my case that people like him know full well that there'll be angry relatives, you know, because he beat up, threatened, and sexually assaulted women, so he had to carry a gun. But, you know, uh, look where he ran, ended up now. Uh, got arrogant, road raid incident, road raid incident uh, shot somebody. And then now, look where he is now. Now there's no, he ain't going to have no uh, cowboy, black cowboy hat and beard, walk around with a gun, prison uniform. And nobody give a, sh nobody give a fraction of a shit who he is, you know what I mean? Uh so, uh, yeah, let that be a lesson to people that uh, pull shit like that. They're very narcissistic and violent, and some of them that are narcissistic and violent, uh, like I said, too, they take soft targets. If they don't got to get a gun, when, yeah, they want to be able to go after soft targets and get away with it, so some of them will even... If they don't get a gun, they take steroids because they're away. They want to get away with their shit, and God forbid anybody actually comes to their defense, like an angry father, uncle, brother, or whatever. So if they don't carry guns, they're gonna get steroids. People of that character, that's what they do. Uh, they, somebody else comes after them, say, "Yeah, it was my sister." Uh, you mess with over there. That that's the biggest fear of cowardly people like this. Um, they ha they have to resort to something, you know, for their insecurity. That's if they don't seek help and say, "Well, I lost my temper. I got a problem," or maybe it was the drugs that I was taking. Maybe you got to stop those, you know. Uh, so there you have it.